Hey, everybody. I'm we making got, waffles. <laughs> that came into my mind. <laughs> we got fancy shirts and, um, because mm -hmm. we're on vacation. Ooh, we're staying two nights. The Club Wyndham Bonnet Creek Resort. Wow. Well, first we're at Trader Joe's in Windermere. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're actually going to like cook. Our room has a kitchen, and so we're gonna have a couple of meals just like in the room. Um, oh gosh, but we'll do a haul after. Going to Trader Joe's. Going to Trader Joe's. Going to Trader Joe's. To get some snacks. set up. We gotta figure out dinner, figure out Teddy's nap because James did a good nap in the car. We gotta figure out what we're doing tonight. We're gonna go swimming. There's a lazy river here we're gonna go check out. Um yeah. we're a good time. Yeah. The plan of the name of the game yeah. is relaxing. I think we're also gonna go to Disney a little bit tomorrow. But tonight we're just gonna hang out at the resort. I wanna show you this is a two bedroom um two bedroom villa, two bedroom I should know that. Two bedroom deluxe. We did book a one bedroom. It was really awesome. We did get upgraded to a two bedroom. So check this out. Here we go, you walk in, door, dining table, that's nice. Okay, so here's the kitchen. Teddy's inspecting it. Got our groceries undone. This is the living room. I haven't checked if that looks very much like it's a pullout. There's like closets everywhere in here. It's bringing timeshare space to a whole new level. James is gonna check out the balcony. We are on the first floor. Whoa, James. He's a ghost. <laughs> got a little TV action here into the primary room. So you've got like a big old king TV talking about ice cream they have. Big old bathroom, this goes on for days. Big tub, vanity, closet, shower, facilities. And then if you go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. This almost levels the old QS two bedroom, Sarah, but isn't as big. Into the second bedroom, where you got like two foals, it looks like. Doesn't, they're not even queens. Another TV, We've got Smith the Brown playing. To another bathroom. So it's literally a two, two, uh, two bath, two bed. Two bed, two bath. So we're keeping this one closed right now. So these kids don't go running. Everywhere they're not supposed to, make a mom and dad run everywhere while they're in this newer space. James, he's grossed out by the slime on Nickelodeon. Right, I said we would do a little Trader Joe's haul tonight. We are making, I don't know where it got famous, I literally just Googled ramen Trader Joe ingredients. And this is where it brought me, so we got beef burrito, got some instant ramen, and basically you kind of mix it all together, makes delicious ramen. We also got hard boiled eggs. We're gonna have pot stickers for the boys. Seaweed, I'm not really sure. I think we'll have rice. 
I don't know. But that's that's our start for dinner tonight. Not dinner. Snicky snack little dunkers. They're so good. That's what they were eating in the car that was all over the place. We got a sun-dried tomato spread for some snackage. Some bagels, some bread, limes, everything but the bagel. Crackers. Peter got some red wine. My fancy drink to start with is the apple cider vinegar beverage. It is so good. Pomegranate, Trader Joe's. We got tortilla chip rounds. These elote corn chip dippers. These are my favorite chips of all time. If you haven't had them, you have to try them. They're so tasty. Also got some Southwest Season Pretzel Twist from Publix. These are from Publix. Um, before we went to Trader Joe's. Like we said, we're gonna be cooking here, but like keeping it simple. So we got butter chicken. We got some um, pork spring rolls. We got samosas. We got a roasted garlic pesto pizza, as well as a vegetable pizza. So that's our frozen section. Cucumbers and carrots and tomatoes for some garlic dip. We got vegan buffalo dip. A little Caesar salad situation. Um, here are those pre-boiled eggs. We had salsa from home already we brought. Got some cream cheese to put that sun-dried tomato spread on, on crackers. And then got some plant-based milk for Teddy, kombucha. And then other little sparkling drinks, strawberry. And then these are lemon and elderflower sodas. So a pretty simple haul. We're here two nights, but we're like, this is very much so just like an extra little stay. Didn't want to go full blown vacation mode, but still like eat good, eat easy, um, but not have to go out for every meal. So this will have us covered. I'm gonna make dinner. Um, Peter's putting Teddy down for a nap. And then we're I'm just gonna chill here for the rest of the night. It is supposed to rain a little bit in the next hour, so that's good timing for us. Kind of relaxing at first, and then maybe we'll go to the pool. So the interweb said to cook your noodles, and then put your seasoning and the oil that comes in these little instant cups in a bowl. I haven't put the oil in yet. I'm gonna start heating up this beef barilla just to the instructions in the microwave. How cute those little salt peppers. Cute. Cute. So I just added the contents of the barilla, as well as the seasoning for the ramen. And now we're just gonna make our little bowls. I meant to chop up onions and bring them, but I didn't. I also didn't get cilantro. So if you want to get fancy, top it with some stuff. The whole reason we got limes. We really only needed one. But I'm I made the dinner plan. Peter did the shopping, so he didn't know that. We have all these limes. So, if you're gonna make that ramen, don't forget the lime. To my defense, like, I knew if anything I was gonna buy extra, knowing that we live nearby. Yeah, like, this stuff is well, gonna, gonna come home. I'm gonna even hang out with her for a chunk of tomorrow and Sunday, depending on what time we wanna leave the area on Sunday. So, yeah. like, we can bring those home tomorrow. Yeah. Plus, I mean, the ramen was pretty darn good even without the uh, lime. Yeah. The children <laughs> are alone in that room. <laughs> the door was heavier than I expected. That was gonna be a cute, see little shot. Wow. We love a food truck moment. It's quite humid. The camera just will not stay unfoggy. What do you see, doggy? This is a really cute little place where you could watch like movie under the stars. It looks like there's a projection. Screen and a food truck. These little seats with a little table. It must have rained while we were in our room. As Sarah was saying, cotton candy skies. You this can get koi food at the activities deck. To feed koi fish that are in, it, I don't think it's right here, but there's like two sections. Like one's over there, and I think one's over there. Where there's koi fish. There's also a lazy river here. In this pool over here. We're gonna be checking out some of that stuff tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Just... And we're staying Saturday too, so maybe even Sunday morning. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we're just gonna take it easy tonight, get settled. You know how gorgeous you look right now with this little vista behind you? 
with the bokeh and the beautiful towers. So my brother and sister-in-law stayed here summer 2020. Remember, 2020, I was supposed to give birth the next month, <laughs> but then it was ended up being November 1st yeah. for Jamesy. So I was like, what if, we kept on saying like, what if Michael and Kim were here and I went into labor? <laughs> like, I felt that like ready. Yeah. Absolutely cool. So it's cool that like, I'm actually seeing my, my after working for the company for two between two and three years, I'm actually seeing the product that I help service. Yeah. So that's fun. So I was very pregnant then. And very early pregnant now. Yes. These ducks think we got the food. They just came marching up to us. Ooh. Are those ducks, are those, are those white ducks or are those like little geese? They have like fancy chef's hats on them. Yeah. Wow. Duck. Duck. What in the heck? <laughs> Is that real? Duck. Say hi, duck. Yeah, it's a ducky. Okay, the sky just keeps getting prettier. Look at that. Teddy skipped his second nap, so he's pretty toast. Jamesy, however, and Daddy. Bye bye. We're gonna go swim. We're gonna chug a scope out the lazy river. We're gonna scope out the pools. Love you too. Bye bye. So if you didn't know, Bonnet Creek is on Disney property, and it's literally like right behind World Showcase. So we might. Oh look, at there's basil, tomato, mint parsley growing um so we might get to hear some epcot forever but we're gonna check out this kid's splash zone because it looks awesome before the pool we're scoping out some of the water features pretty cool pretty cool now we're gonna put my my shirt and, and shoes down we're about to hop in this little lazy river and uh Get to getting right. One hour later. We're just scoping out some of the cool places at the SeaWorld office, fitness center. We're gonna go. I'm gonna go show him the minion statue from the front. He wasn't thrilled about the minion, but I think he's over today. I think he's tuckered out. So we're gonna go back to the room, get in gym, pajamas, and hopefully he'll fall asleep so soon. <laughs> Sarah got Teddy asleep. Put up a fight, but she did it. We're having a family cookie time with a sleepy pajama wearing James, and we found out Bluey was on Disney Junior. This is a life. <laughs> I'm about to ask you what kind of fancy drink do you want from the fridge? Ooh, kombucha and strawberries. Mixed? Ooh, I got a little bottle of wine for me. Whose fancy drink is whose, do you guess? And yes, We've been slowly collecting these because Teddy likes to pull them off the wall. Well, if you guess James, Peter, Sarah, you are correct. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>